Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to Quill18 vs. the World 900 Years of Bloodshed, the Europa Universalis 3 edition. I believe we are very, very close to nearing our mission. Uh, we have unified Great Britain in the last episode, I was very, very happy about that. Um, but now the, the current goal, the real final goal in my opinion, is colonizing North America. Just getting some colonies over there and then imagining the rest of history play itself out. We do have some holdings in Africa as well, um, so depending on how things go, we may, we may venture down a little further around that way. It would be nice to go all the way around uh, South Africa and head into uh, India and such, but I'm not sure we're going to be playing that long. I'm really anxious to get to the other games. Um, we do have a boat queued up from last time. Going to Western Greenland, apparently right over here is actually colonizable, so we may try to snag that. We'll see what we can do. Other than that, I'm pretty sure we're going to try to stay out of the continental affairs, uh, because seriously, screw the continent. Uh, and again, going to war with France is not something that's particularly appealing to me. If we take a look at the ledger and then go here and then go to the army, um, you know, sort by number. Well, Ming's got the most, but then France, like, look at this. It's currently got 96,000 troops and it has 100,000 extra manpower just kicking around. Crazy. And if you compare against us, uh, oh, right, we're probably Great Britain now. We're no longer England. Uh, not, not Britain, Great Britain. Great Britain, there we are. 24,000 men, 32,000 manpower left over. That's not a lot. In fact, I'm probably going to continue building armories just to get that up, just in case, because if we were happened to be declared on, of course, France still hates us. Now, they don't have a really good Casas Belly against us for now, but you never know. So, let's, uh, let's unpause it. Let's watch that boat. That'll be the big thing. Financially, we're actually in pretty good shape. Our, we do have the 6.0 inflation still, but it's on its way down. Bohemia and Hesse want alliance offers. See, I would like some allies, but I'm worried that these guys are going to start going to war and stuff. And big troops. Actually, quite a few allies. But, you know, we could start a big cascading war, which is just going to interfere with our plans of colonization. Yeah, I don't want to get involved in the continent. We're not playing a friendly Great Britain. We're playing a non-interventionist Great Britain. That's what we're doing. Let's keep an eye on our ships, make sure they don't go down. Yes, yes. I think our military maintenance, I think I turned it back up, especially on the ships, about halfway for the land. France, oh yeah, the sensors of trade thing, that is so, so annoying. Um, let's take a look very quickly at how our center of trade priority are set up. Uh, now we do have our own, that's set to max, which is good. These guys should stay friendly to us. Venice and Lubeck, so that's higher priority, I like. And London. Alright, I think that's fair. Um, in fact, we may want to turn these guys down to red. Keep London at green, and put these guys at yellow. Because maxing out London is actually very, very easy to do. Even though there's not a lot of trade, we have one of the best compete chances there. Well, Nanjing would be very high, except they're out of reach. Actually, Venezia does okay. And it's worth more. We've already got six merchants, or five merchants there, so... Yeah, whatever. Keeping them in London is going to be pretty easy, so I won't worry about that. Probably not optimal, but it's okay. So, yeah, we'll see if we can't waggle back and forth here. Just got to watch the health on our ships. Now, this move takes a while because going into Terra Incognita, Baffin Bay, Baffin Bay, I think it is actually. Come on, explore me that. Ah. Indeed, we can reach this. Not much in the way of natives. The tax base of one isn't great. But, you know, I think it's worth dropping some colonists there. Colony, colonization is going to be our thing. Eastern coast, not quite there. We'd still like to discover this. You know, why the heck not? Uh, now, we do still have these colonies here. Are they? Well, that's territory. These are both territories, and this is a crappy colony that I probably should have never taken. So theoretically, they're going to start making money for me. You know what? I'm going to colonize. I'm going to send one here. We'll see if we can't uh, pop the other one as well. It's something to do. It's kind of entertaining. God, I just got to hop in and out here and hope we discover this. If I had a conquistador, I could drop him on there, but I don't. I'm pretty sure this this works as a way to to reveal. 
I discovered Quebec. Let's, uh, you know, let's go into here. At least get a little more done. Construction. Yes, I definitely want to construct. And yeah, I'm going to go for armies. Um, it doesn't really matter where they get put, really, because it's just adding to our man manpower. I suppose um, the south of England might be the best, since that may be where we want troops more. Even then, I'm not entirely sure that's true, because if we get invaded, we're actually going to need to build troops up here and then go down. Uh, can I build from here? I think I can. Uh, but they already have that. They're level 3? Really? You didn't even have that technology. There we go. Lincoln. You are going to get an armory built there. That's a good spot. Okay. Back to my ship. Uh, what was it doing? The Hudson Straits. Cool. We actually don't want to colonize up north here too, too much. Let's go back to the western coast of Greenland. There we are. We had a mission? Oh, that's right, we did. Now we want a royal marriage with Norway. We should be able to do this. We got five colonists for free. Frig, we still, we already had a ton of colonists. It's kind of wasted. I don't have enough money. Um, we are not operating a deficit, though. We're going to be having tons of money as soon as January rolls over. Uh, let me pause over. Norway. Royal marriage? Likely? Nice! We lost some infamy. We are pretty low on infamy. Protect against Sokoto. Sokoto has a larger army than we have. Major danger, their rival of ours. Sokoto? Is a concern? Really? And they have a larger army than we do? Actually, they've got quite a bit of territory. And we're right here. Alright, how big of an army do they have? Um... Because, yeah, I didn't realize they just claimed a whole lot of territory there. Sokoto have 29,000 troops. And we... We have 24,000. It actually wouldn't be that terrible to do. Now, we can't build the troops here directly, which is a shame. Um, I don't mind upping our troop numbers. So, build five units, potentially six. A few more on the southern coast here. Yeah, oh, we, right, we don't have much in the way of money. Colonization failed. God! A level six banker, minus six percent interest. Wow, if we want to take out loans, now would be the time to do it. Yeah, if you have a black screen, refresh. And if it doesn't come back right away, wait like 30 seconds and try again. By the way, YouTube people, I am streaming if you're confused about who I'm talking to here. I'm reading the chat. Um, and yeah, everything's good over here. Yeah, okay, top priority is building these armories. And then, yeah, we'll build a few more troops down here. And that's the fifth unit, so let's go with six just for the heck of it, and keep it down here. That'll be good, because we really didn't have a lot of troops on the island of Great Britain proper. Edward IV has fallen ill, cannot handle all aspects of ruling Great Britain. How shall we handle this? More power to the nobles, so lose stability, go aristocracy. Or lose centralization. Didn't we have this last time? I really want to be centralized. Ah, alright. More power to the nobles and stability loss. What a shitty event. Yeah, we better invest some in there. Let's lock the treasury where it is. Actually, no. Let's put it down a little. Just a tad. We are lowering inflation already. Uh, so we'll lock that in place and then uh, we'll max out stability for a little while. Yes, I want to colonize. Colonize all the things. Ah, there we go. Five army tradition is no good. Naval race versus Castile. Oh, God. Yeah, and in fact, I don't blame them for coming up with these missions. Um, Castile, probably. Because we do, we do really want a, a real significant navy here, but... Armies. Navies. So... 
total. Castile's got the most. He's got 31 big ships. Actually, we're not very far behind. At all. We, actually, we even have more big ships than they do. I don't mind. You know what? We'll we'll make that a thing. We'll build some ships soon enough. Not right right away, but soon. Here, we're going to move all these guys into London. Seems like a good place to leave people. There we go. And actually, our naval technology. When we get to the next level, does it do anything? Mmm, dry docks, I guess. Doesn't actually un unlock better ships yet, which is a shame. And the uh, colonial map mode. Yeah, we still can't reach anywhere new. Okay, good. Thank you for that. Let's go back in the naval, which does increase our range. Plus gives us more ships and better ships and all things that I like. Uh, and we will build... Yeah, those docks are pretty good, actually. It's that production efficiency that's strong. Build it in the cores. Yeah, I mean, we still want more manpower, but the docks are also pretty good. Especially in a core. I think. Just because I like my cores better than everything else. Ah! Yeah, the chants are really, really low. Alright, that's my last, my last batch of colonists that I'm sending there for now. If they don't work... Screw them. I don't want Greenland that bad. It's kind of crap. What will I do with France? Nothing. Who cares if they get bigger? It's not like France and England have historically, you know, have issues with each other. I don't know what you're concerned about. Where are my ships, by the way? Oh, they're just hanging out there. They should probably go and dock repair themselves. There we are. Yeah, taking these guys, it's not a bad idea. Um, now, I can get, like, Holy War or Tribal Conquest pretty easily with them. Um, ivory. Huh. I wonder how much money that would give me once it's properly, uh, being properly produced. They have a decent population. Take them over, convert them. Since until now I haven't had like any ability to use missionaries at all. You know, I, I dig it. I can do that. Let's use our new units here. We'll need some money, we'll have money soon, we'll get some generals. Make sure I don't forget those generals. Uh, we'll have to adjust our... Hey! Success! Oh, stop hunting rebels. Yeah, just come onto the ship. Good. And you... Dump them on Sierra Leone. You can move in here. That's probably going to hurt your supply. Yeah. Yeah, well, they're already kind of having supply issues, actually. So why don't you move there? Natives encountering our colonies. The settlers of our colony have spotted minor groups of natives attentively observing, observing the colony. Uh, we don't know what their intentions are. How do you want to proceed? Repel the savages, which would give us more population in Eric's Ford, and lose natives, which is good. Present a trade proposal. We'd lose money, but gain a tax base. That's more permanent. Like, this is like speeding things up, but this is actually really good. Let them live in peace, lose prestige. Um, we'll technically go in debt. Well, will this stay here for another month and a half? You know what? I don't mind taking out a loan temporarily to lock this in. I think this is worthwhile. Uh, I don't think we can move our national focus yet, but that is actually a really good suggestion. Um... If I mouse over it, I'm not going to be able to move it until for another 20 years. That why did we take out such a big loan? Oh my god. All right, well we'll spend it. it. Must be it must be based on some sort of percentage or something of my economy. That is a big loan. But uh we'll use it. Armories everywhere. Big nation, bigger the loan, yeah. No, we don't want that. So, Eric's Ford, which is here. Oh, we never managed to colonize over here. 
That's okay, though. Let's, uh... I'm gonna keep... Establish penal colony. We need a second magistrate. More revolt risk. Better taxes. Better growth. Yeah, penal colony in Greenland. That would just be mean! It's cold over there! Um, I am gonna send my, uh... My colonists now to make this grow a little bit faster. Since we've got awesomeness over there. Come on. There. Here's where I want to be. So... I wonder... Oh, that's Sokoto. That, they actually have quite a bit of manpower. Now, I'm hoping... Where's the uh, technology map mode? Oops. There it is. And their land tech is 3. Mine is 7. So we should have a pretty good advantage. They have 29,000 men. I only have 16,000 men down here. But... Should be okay. I think we're going to make do with... We're going to get two generals, I think. One, two. Hurts my army tradition, but I think it's okay. Join these together for now. One general. Yeah, they're pretty crappy because I don't have a lot of land tradition. But, um... We'll put together some sort of... Holy War generates less infamy and more prestige. And that's full annexation, all provinces. Enforce vassalage. I think we're going to go for a holy war. I don't... Actually, I don't think we can do a full annexation. I don't think we can pull it off. So, because it, they're, they're quite big. Uh, so I think we're going to have to go with enforced vassalation, which apparently is an option in tribal conquest. And the holy war, I don't think the Casas Belli covers vassalage. So I think I would get more infamy. If I'm recalling... I'm still a little fuzzy on these aspects, but I guess Tribal Conquest. We'll call in our allies, which is mostly just our vassals. I don't think they're going to do anything. Um, yeah. So we'll do this. Um, I do. No infamy with Holy War? Yeah, but... I don't know about vassalage. I'm just going to go with Tribal Conquest. The Holy War doesn't appeal to me the same way. Just thematically. Low maintenance, yes, that's right. Actually, I forgot. We weren't at max maintenance yet, so... Uh, I think we're gonna be okay. We'll give it a tick. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Move in. Sakoda refuses to let us into trade. Really, I wonder why. Does it have anything to do with the fact that we're at war? So, wow, where are their troops? All right, let's, uh, let's... Why can't I detach siege? There's no siege in this province? The siege here. Do they not have a fort? What? What's going on? I'm sieging here. Oh, I'm auto-occupied. Ah, oh, but if I leave, it does it break the occupation? Hardly any of these places have forts. Actually, we're going to be limited... Let's split in half and go to Kaor. We're going to be limited in our ability to go into them because we don't actually have a Conquistador with us. Although, I could grab one. I've got a colonist here. I could turn one to Conquistador. We'll occupy everything on the coast. We'll siege this place. Here, we'll split these guys in half. Take half, move it over here. Uh... Stop. You go here. You stay there. There we are. We'll move more men in arms for the assault. Okay, I don't want to send another colonist because we might have to use a conquistador. Okay, you guys. Uh, join together. And let's see if we can assault. The walls are breached. May not work the first time, but... Actually, it will. Awesome. Why am I not getting, um... Like... A stripey colorization. Oh, I'm on tech mode. There we go. Now it looks right. Hey, uh, would you vassalize? No. I could demand some of these places. Would not accept. Not yet. Um, so we're gonna have to do two things. We might have to sit on these a little bit longer, but I also think what's going to happen is this place has got some attrition, yeah. We're going to uh, reorganize this. We're going to break off the horsemen. 
And you are going to get, we're going to get a conquistador in here. And you are a conquistador. And we'll have our other general go here is fine. So you should be able to march in here. Good. Oh, wow, there's no fort. We insta-lost it. God, I'm not paying attention. Okay. the uh, these You guys, go and clean that up. I have full faith that you can pull this off. Must pay attention. There we go. And they have a fort. Ah. All right, so now we can take, say, these guys and go to Bure. Won that battle. Good. Reclaim that. Good. We'll go and help in the front here. Ah. What do you want? White piece. No. Unacceptable. Water shortage. Wait for the walls to come down. Shaka, when the walls fell. Naval technology 8. Dry dock. Increased colonial range. Hurrah. So you can move over there and take over the siege. And then we'll move these guys back to take over that. Water shortage. Salt. Mm, not sure that's going to work out. Siege is over. That was pretty good. Um, Met Conquistador. You come here. Okay, everyone go here. You go there. All right. That is a big ass army. Holy cow. We do have the tech advantage, but there we go. Now we'll outnumber them. And that might be enough to crush them. I don't know how much they're willing to vassalize. More exhaustion going up. No, okay. It's just it's too much. I don't think we can get 100%. I did get my colony back, didn't I? Occupied by Great Britain. How do I actually, like, reclaim it properly? It's occupied by me. I suppose I could move another unit here. Get ourselves under the supply limit. Oh, the Ottomans are dishonorable scum. Too much infamy. Yeah, I see, I don't think they're doing anything. Won the siege. So we'll take over one more. Join. Oops. Let's go over to Wolof. Oh, that is a big army, 